Hi, this is Drew Jones of Drew's Guitar Shop in Seattle, Washington, and uh, sorry for the shaky cam, but this is a video about uh, fretboard radius. Um, this right here is a Stumac radius gauge, and you can see that the sides are curved. These sides are curved to different um, radii, radius, um, I guess, uh, for different fretboards. So you got a 14-inch radius, a 20-inch, a 16-inch, and a 15-inch. Now, 20 inch is normally um, the kind of flattest you see on modern instruments. Um, but you see that when we drop this radius gauge on here, that there's a gap in the middle, meaning that the radius of this particular fretboard is flatter than this flattest radius that I have. And so we need to figure out how we're going to set the radius of the strings, and we need to make a tool for that. So basically my solution is that I have a lot of this uh, uh, basswood scrap, basswood scrap, whatever, um, and I have this pencil that I flattened on one side. And basically what I do is I hold this piece of wood up here, and I go ahead and I draw a line on it with the pencil laying right on the fret. And that will give me a perfect reproduction of what the radius of this instrument looks like. And as you can see, that's pretty flat, but it's not totally flat. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the tool that I use to actually make this tool here. So this here is a spindle sander. And basically what this is, is a, you know, it's a spindle that had sandpaper on it and it kind of goes up and down and it spins and it enables me to cut uh, curved things into other things. And so I'm going to basically use this and carefully go right up to that line and try to reproduce this radius using this tool. And then I'm gonna show you how it works. And so here we have the completed radius gauge. If you follow the camera around here and you drop it onto this fretboard, you can see that there is no light coming through. And actually that is the reason that I uh, colored this side black. I just used a Sharpie for that. It helps in uh, seeing whether or not there's any light coming through the bottom of that at any point. If it's coming up on the sides, it of course means that the radius is too shallow uh, for the radius gauge or well, rather the radius gauge is too shallow for the radius of the uh, fretboard. And if there's uh, light coming through the middle, it means that the radius gauge is too steep um, for the radius of the fretboard. So that's how we tell whether or not uh, we're matching up here. Now what we're gonna use this for is setting the individual height of these strings when we go to do the setup. So we're gonna first set the outside two to the height that we want with the neck where it's supposed to be, with the nut where it's supposed to be, and with the pickups where it's supposed to be. And then we're going to go ahead and raise up each of these until they match that radius. And that's gonna give us a radius under the strings that matches the radius of the fretboard here as closely as we can get. And that's gonna make sure that the playing is consistent from the smaller strings up to the thicker strings and uh, the strings will still have enough room to move and do their thing. So that's how you make a custom radius gauge if you need to, is you just use the guitar and a piece of scrap wood and um, a flat pencil. Pretty easy, but uh, annoying. Sometimes you do have to do this for uh, custom guitars or basses that have wildly flat fretboards like this one here. Anyway, um, this has been Drew Jones of Drew's Guitar Shop in Seattle, Washington. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and feel like dropping me a tip, there are links to do so in the description. There's also a link down there to my reverb page where you can find anything that I have up for sale right now. Uh, please like, subscribe, link this video around to your friends. Also in the description, you'll find a link to my website that has my contact information, my pricing information, as well as a page that I wrote on caring for stringed instruments might find something there that's interesting to you. Anyway, this has been Drew Jones of Drew's Guitar Shop in Seattle, Washington. Thank you for watching.